Come to her. Hey! You? Who? Who? You want to give me a attack on my own land? No, I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't mean to scare you. No, no. So it's you. Come down. Come down here. Come down. You son of no man. Will you come down? Come down. Hey! Come down here. Come down. Yeah. yeah. What, 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 what are you doing on my land? Eh? Huh? No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I was just aiming at um, a grass cutter. A grass cutter? Yes. On my land? On my own land? Do you know aiming at anything or even hunting is a criminal act? You, do I need to remind you that you are a son of nobody and you have no right whatsoever to this land? No, you must insult me. You are blowing this thing out of proportion. I said I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I was just trying to get a grass cutter. Listen, I will say more to you. I will say more to you. You are not an aborigin of this land. You don't belong here. In fact, you don't have any right to anything here. So tell me, Cousin. All this your movement are moving as if you are needing that thing annoys me. Tell me, Cousin. Oh. Listen, because you are an chair does not give you the right to insult me. I will kill you and bury you here. Respect is reciprocal. I want to be going home and rest my body. I am tired. What do you mean by you are tired? Eh? But you just joined us a few minutes ago. Listen, if anyone's supposed to be tired here, it's me and not you. I do, Ray. I wasn't talking to you. By the way, you should be happy that I'm here to help you. And now that I want to go home and rest my body, why don't you continue with the work that was meant for you? And stop complaining! What do you mean by the work that was meant for me? See, you better go back there and start reading. Because if you go, I will leave. Mama! Mama! Tell it your mouth! If she leaves, me I will leave. Are you going to stop me? You know what? I do not have strength to banter west with you. Mama! If Ijoma leaves, then I'm equally leaving. Tell her. What is it? What is the problem? And you, Adure. Eh? What is your problem, Adure? I have warned you times with that number to stop arguing with my daughter. She said she's tired and she wants to rest her body. Simple. Relieve her of the duty and continue from where she stopped. But Mama, I... Will you shut up? I shut Mama. up and listen. Uh -uh. Adure. Mama. But why will you shut up? I do let me warn you for the last time that you do not share the same privilege as my daughter in this house. This is her home. You are a stranger, Dure. Oh, you are the Ibo. Dure. Oh, what? I'm wrong here. Look at Mama. I will always respect and obey you, but I can never allow you to subject me as a slave. If indeed the gods destined me for royalty, what then am I doing here? Since my father died, I have been an unhappy orphan. And there is no sign of the destiny my father told me of. Oh, could it be that my father told me that just to suit my heart? If sitting in the rain is all it costs to please my daughter, 
I will see you still here. Years ago, when your mother gave birth to you, I consulted with the priestess, the seer, the of the Akalaka goddess. And she said so many good things about you. She foretold that you are of royal destiny. That my daughter shall grow up to become a beautiful maiden. And she would eventually become the wife of a prince with whom you shall rule your kingdom together. But how is that possible? The Akaraka goddess showed me this. Uh, oh, wait, my hand is dirty. Let me wash my hand. Obim, stop crying. Look. Your father never lied to you. You are truly destined for greatness. No matter what you're going through right now, I want you to know that it's just a face and it will pass away. Look at me. You will make it. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Obim, do you believe it? Yes! I love you so much. And I'm with you in this. Adure! Mama wants you to go to the farm now. Are you deaf? What are you still doing there? It's your jirigi. Give me a chance to be your man. I have never seen another woman who appears to me like you do. I have tried to talk to you. And you have not been nice to me. In the whole of Amacha, you do not see any maiden to talk to. But you have chosen to pester me. Look, I told you it's not going to work between us. It will not work. Obin, please, reconsider me in your thoughts. I really love you. Do not love me. It will not work. Listen, I will advise you to look for another maiden in your clan. I am not interested in you. I am not. Moreover, I'm in love with someone else. Who could that be? Nobody, I mean nobody, deserves you more than I do. What is his name? You must be out of your mind to say such to my face. You must be out of your mind. And this is the last time you will stop me to utter such rubbish.
Non, non. Maman Please, as you go hunting today, hmm? avoid Ichi and Sekwe's farmland. You can trade on other people's farmland. Just avoid his, please. Mama, hmm? did Ichi and Sekwe confront you about me trespassing on this land? You already know the circumstances we are facing with the people of this land. Which circumstances, Mama? As the gods live, I am not under any condition, neither are you. As for Mazin Zekwe, for confronting you, he will have me to contend with. Nana! Nana! To stay up trouble between us and the people of this land, I don't have strength for their trouble, please. I don't care. I don't have strength for their trouble. I don't care. Maybe that's your punishment for not being able to tell the people of this land who my father is. No one will treat me like an outcast for something I know nothing about. Mama! Mama! my order. Why? Nana, keep quiet. What insolent? How dare you shut Anichi up? Do I have to remind you that you have nothing among us? That you are son of no man? Nah, because where are you? Just, 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 just don't kill me. Please, I'm begging you. Please. Hey! Stop! Stop. Hey, who? Last warning. Last warning. <laughs> I of the gods, what is his condition like now? He will recover and live again. But he has been lying there very unconscious all these days. Your Highness, this is not the first time you have seen him in this condition. Is it? I know. I understand. He will always recover and live again until the time for him to go. But it is not yet his time. I must tell you. I have the gods. I appreciate. Thank you for everything you have done. And I'm willing to do more. But do not forget to send for me when he wakes up. I will not. Why I love you so much. I don't like all this girl. <laughs> <laughs> but you say mark of respect. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. 
Hapo that respect. It's a matter of Leave it oh, I don't, I don't, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. No. I don't want this to notice them. Ah, 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 can you leave me alone to have time with them? Okay, it's all right. The third one say, marriage is pleasant. Yes. That was why she always carry her husband on her back. Look at the love. Don't mind the Zephyr, please. Come. You people should come and sit down. No water. Um, please bring color for them. You people should sit. Hmm. I wonder you refuse to do what I would do. I appreciate this visit. Um, Oriakum, please bring the caller. Uh, we are good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Look, uh, when you marry a good wife, uh -huh. mm, your life will be extended on this earth, uh, Biko. Oh, yeah, we please, have cola leave, here. Leave the cola, please. Leave the cola. Ah. The cola should wait. All right. Yeah? No problem. Um, I was at Digo Palace today. Okay. The situation of his son, our prince, is not getting any better. That's not a good news at all. It's a sad news. You see, I wonder what kind of ailment is this. This young boy. This young boy has been suffering this ailment since he was small. Eh? Which, good, which kind of ailment is this that cannot adhere to cure? Eh? Well, I heard that um, the Dibia said it's Obanje. Ah, uh, so? But that his own is different. Okay. Wow. According to the Dibia, he said the boy found love in his earthly home. So he refused to go back to the, okay. to the world where others used to go. So, because of his refusal to go back to the world of the unborn, mm. this strange element has become his fate. This is sad and delicate. Seeing that he is the heir apparent to our, the throne of our land, what do we do? That's exactly my concern. Well, our people say, that we are one force is where the gods push us in. Saying that he is in this condition, if anything happens to him, you know the royal throne will swing to your house. That means the god has smiled on your house. How do you mean? I don't understand. I understand what he's trying to say. Iche, if the gods permit that our, our prince does not survive this ailment, it means the next royal household of Amatara Kingdom falls back to your own household. Oh, yes. How? Why did you think so? Uh -uh. It's your corner. After the royal house, household of Abu Igwabogidi, mm. who does not know that it's your corner? <laughs> Is the richest man in Amachala. <laughs> Not only being the richest man in Amachala, <laughs> your lineage has, fun, has always had fun to, to do with royalty. So, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, um, I'm glad that you people wish me well. But, God's bear me witness that I've never thought of that. Nobody wishes the cause of the gods on the roof of our ego. Oh. But let me tell you something. The curse of the gods is upon every roof until you identify your own share of the curse. Then you will understand that we humans are like games in the field of the gods. You have the point there. You are right. You are very, very right. I have not thought of that. Uh, please, I think we can now enjoy the cola and the drinks. Okay. Eh? 
Ask your GSD. Already, I will go not one. Uh, one. Well, uh, <laughs> Listen, I understand, but you can't go hunting with me. The bush is dangerous. Baby, I want to go with you. No, no. I promise you, one grass cutter. <laughs> you promise? Yes. Um, and I will also be there. Um, I'll stay the hand for you. Why you are just an epitome of beauty. <laughs> ah, sir. <laughs> there you are. I have been looking for you. What is the meaning of this? What? So is the reason you ignored and turned down my love proposal. This is unbelievable. Does that mean you do not have self-respect? You chose the son of no man over me? I'm so ashamed of you. What? My father told me how you threatened and harassed him the other day in his farm. How dare you? Do you not remember he has a son like me who could stand up to you and give you a run in a fight? Nanda, you are beating more than you can chew. And it is high time we make this land uncomfortable for you! You, 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 you! Shut up! Are you done? I am not done talking to you! Now listen and listen attentively. I, Abu, will not take it lightly with you if you in any manner talk to my father in an insulting way again. I will not only fight you, but I will also remind you of your place in this land. Abu Neymaro, Neymaro. Now listen, I do not want to see you with Ikechi again. Stay away from Ikechi! Stay away from her! <coughs> Anabala Gumba. Mama, anytime I see you in this kind of mood, it means something grave is troubling your heart. Please talk to your wife. Bikun, what is it? Will the gods ever give me just a son? If only the gods would give me a son in an exchange of all my wealth. I will make a bountiful sacrifice on the shrine of Annie to worship and thank him. Please, do not give up on me. I promise you, I shall bear you a son. And the gods are not deaf to our prayers. Please. Maybe the curse came upon me the day I promised you that I will never take another wife.
I'm talking. Amosu. <laughs> Ozurerere. Do you think I don't know that you killed your parents with your witchcraft? <laughs> Mama me. Yes, I know. And since you came into this house, I've had a series of miscarriages. Mama. You think I don't know? Mama. I know. Adore. And I know that you are responsible <laughs> for me not to be able to bear my husband a son. You think I don't know? Mama, how could you I say that? I know this? all that. Adore. That is why I make <laughs> this house so uncomfortable for you. Mama. In this house, Adore, I'm best you Mama. Mama. I'm Wafia. Mama. Look at her. I have done nothing wrong to deserve this treatment. Why are you treating me like a slave? Mama, will you go inside? Mama. What is happening here? Mama, Pepe. Mama, put Pepe in my eyes. Begin. Oh, see. Nai, welcome to Pepe. So, Nai, will you shut up? Let me talk to my husband. Get, go inside. Get out of this place. Mama, I'm Wafia. Come on, get out. Papa, get in. Come on, Pagi. Eh, just more slap and she's saying Pepe. Nai, can you imagine? I came out of the house and saw Adure sleeping by this time of the day that she should be busy working in the farm like other maidens. Now that is it. Oh. I just touched her like this and she's shouting, Pepe, Pepe, get them both says easy. You don't have to transfer your, your frustration on this poor girl. I saw her left here very early in the morning to work on the farm. Do you want her to remain there? Is she not a human being like you? I'm only helping her. Listen, listen to me. I kept quiet, watch you and your daughter maltreat this girl in this house. Neck, I remember. It is not what we promised her father. Something I said, I will tell you. And uh, what could that be? Talk, I'm listening. Please. I do not like how Adore is being treated in your house. So, she complained to you? Yes, she did. And it's becoming so unbearable. Ijoma, she does not deserve to be treated like a slave. I can say you still love her. And you will never leave her. So you have been deceiving me. It's your mom. <laughs> I never deceived you. I love you. Adure has been good to me. She's a good woman and deserves to be treated with respect, love, and kindness. Yes, I have feelings for her. I love her because I met her before you. But it is you I love. I love you more. I need you. It is you I want to spend the rest of my life with. Nobody else. You. Are you sure? Choma, you can take me by my word. There is no one like you. No one can ever take your place in my heart. Abum, are you sure? Yes. You can take me by my word. Nobody can ever take your place in my heart. I love you so much. And I love you more. I love you. I love you. <laughs>
A handsome prince. He was truly born to be a king. God, this strange illness will not leave him alone. I believe he just recovered from that sickness. His condition is really a pathetic one. <sighs> but wait, oh. does it mean there is no cure to his ailment? My sister, My sister. I don't understand you. the situation. Eh? <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay. I went to check my trap. Oh, how was it? This is for you. <laughs> oh, my love. I will help you do justice to it. Add them of pepper. I know. I know how you like it. Okay. Mm? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, I sent for you. A young man will be coming here tomorrow with his people to ask for your hand in marriage. So, get yourself ready to accept his proposal. Mama, I do not know what you're talking about. I do not know the man. And so, does it matter? How can I accept a marriage proposal of a man I know nothing about? Will you shut up and keep quiet? Look, tomorrow you must accept and follow him. If you try anything funny, Adore, I will deal with you. I will kill you in this house. Will you get out of my sight? I'm not marrying anybody. Susan, who am I? I'm not marrying anybody. Look at her. Let her marry now. Oh, that is what I want. Campus again. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot imagine the look in her face huh? when my mother told her about the suitor. <laughs> I could not hold my laughter. I was laughing. I was so laughing that I had a headache. <laughs> I can imagine. Finally, the gods have answered my prayer. Mm -hmm. Because I cannot wait for her to be married. So I can come and ask for your hand in marriage. <laughs> so you mean if she does not get married, you will not propose to me? Of course it's not like that. Eh? You know it is you I love. I was only hoping to just come and marry you off peacefully. I want to avoid causing trouble in the house. Hmm. Are you sure? My love, you do not have to doubt me. You know I love you very much. Well, I believe you. <laughs> Look, I cannot wait for tomorrow to come to see how the marriage right would go. <laughs> you know what? It is going to be the greatest entertainment to view. <laughs> <laughs> see, 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 see. Oh my God. Please, I take this drink. <laughs>
Greetings. Uh-huh. Greetings. What is your name? I am Adure. Adure, I usually see you around. I know this might sound strange, but you are not supposed to be with the man you have chosen. Please wait. What is your name? My name is Nana, the son of Noma. What is the meaning of what you just told me? You just need to be careful. Adure, Mama. Adure. Adure. You see this man? You must marry him. Mama, I will not. Listen to me. You must marry him. You must go with him today. Mama. Adure, come here. Mama. Mama, I am not going to marry this man. Hey, Adure, tell me. Since all your life, have you seen any man as handsome as this man? Mama. Hey, Adure. Mama, Mama leave me. Adure, Mama. come here. Mama, leave me. Oh. Hey. Mama, happen. I will Adure. not marry this man. Hey. Adure. Mother, I am not going to marry him. Allow me to join my marriage. You Mama. must go. Ijama, you are there looking at me. Eh? You are there smiling. You must go. My in law, Ogo. Ogo, Vijonye. Ogo, wait, she's coming. Mama, let me alone. Mama, let me alone. Mama, let me alone. Let me have peace in my home. Papa, Papa. What is happening here? I'm asking you, what is happening here? Nai. Kekwan. Welcome, Nai. I'm a major of my. Welcome. Eh, Nai. Can you imagine I do it? This handsome man, he has been coming here since you traveled to Ikunegi. This young man has been asking for Adure's hand in marriage. I said since you are not around, let me help her and secure the golden opportunity. Now, look at her, she's a full grown up woman. Now she needs to settle down and start bearing her children. And I'm telling her she's refusing this man. I say, can't say. Ah, Mama. Welcome, Nai. No. You put that, that is it. Um, my people. I am the father of the girl you came to seek a hand in marriage. Please, you people can leave. But Ogo, no. Please, just leave. I will send a message to my wife, to you. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Excuse me, please. Come and take your keg of wine. But in law, it is it, a free way. Don't drink. worry, I know. But go with your keg of wine. There's no problem with it. I am so disappointed in you for what happened to you. That shows lack of respect to my personality as your husband and as the man of the house. How dare you? How dare you tell me that you are now in charge in my own house while I'm still breathing? The mother be good. Be good boy and I'm be good. Please forgive me. I promise. I will never do it again. I promise. I of course you will never. Yes, I will send you back to your father. Please. And now, listen and listen good. This will be the last time you take a shot in this house be, without my permission. Who gave you the other? Then concerning the sale of Adora in this house. I brought her here. And this is my own house. Before her father died, I promised to him that I would take good care of this girl. Are you hearing me? Now, the warning I'm giving you now, make sure you give the same warning to your daughter. Never again will you people oppress Adure in this house. Do you hear me? This house is mine. This is mine. Hmm? Do I make myself clear? I will not like to repeat this word again. Do you hear me? Now leave my presence.
Nkem, who is this young woman approaching? Nebi Kotelo, please come. Her name is Adore. That's all I know about her. Um, my princess, I, I know nothing about her. I admire your beauty. And your name suits your prettiness as well. My princess, I'm flattered. But I must confess that your beauty is beyond comparison. Hmm. A compliment well received. But I must not keep you waiting with loads on your head. Thank you, my princess. We shall see some other time. Thank you, my princess. Go well. She will make a good wife for my brother. What do you think? Beauty is of a noble class. And I think Guizzi cannot wait to meet her, my princess. Um, my princess, she is good so long the prince will accept her. Um, my princess, this one cannot shake. Let's go home. I have to talk to my brother about her. Let's go. I'm almost done, eh? I will join you. On. I insist to come bless you. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. <laughs> hey. Namo. is asking more about you these days. Yes. It's time for me to come and see your people. <laughs> My love. What are you trying to say? We've come a long way. Your people should be my people. And my people should be your people. What I'm trying to say, it's time for me to come and ask for your hand in marriage. <laughs> My love, I have so long prayed for this day to come. I will be so happy to be your wife. Obi, you are a beautiful woman. We deserve each other. Yes, we do, my love. We do. All right. Ah, my love, I am so happy that I have lost my appetite. Lost your appetite? Yes. I know how to bring it back. Mm -hmm. I have always known Adore to be a willful woman. So I had fear she would not fall for that plan to marry her off. <laughs> this is a bad situation. My love, what are you trying to say? Huh? Does it mean you will not marry me? Honestly, I do not understand this condition. Ijoma, be patient with me. Be patient. Remember, I have been with her before we became lovers. So what are you trying to say? I don't get it. Look, as it stands now, it doesn't even matter if I've been with her before I met you. Are you sure about the things you are saying to me? I do not want you to leave me for her, please. I, I want you. I, I, I don't want you to leave me for of her. Of course, of course. You know I truly love you. 
Believe me when I tell you, it is you my heart desires. You and no other person. Then, make haste to come for my hand in marriage. Please, <laughs> stop considering her. Act like a man. I am a man. And I will make you proud. I will delay no further. <laughs> Are you sure? Of course. You know I love you. And I love you too. And you're beginning to smile. <laughs> Thank you. Nekadu. Adima. You're welcome. Please wait. Can I ask you a question? When you told me I should be careful with Obum, why did you say that? Did you see anything he was doing wrong? I only told you what is necessary. I appreciate your advice and it's what kind of you. But I want to know what prompted you to say those words to me. Do you doubt me? No. At first, but I just saw my sister with her boom. You like it? <laughs> Don't you trust your mother again? Mama, oh well. Much. How are you? Mm. Nice. Oh well. I know the one goes to carry the anchor. The pepper is too much. Oh. Almost. Mm. <laughs> mm. Don't you trust your mother again? Oh hey, well. Again. Hmm. I do. Why are you looking at me in that manner? Why? Adore. What is the problem? And why are you looking at your sister in such manner? Eh? Adore. I am not comfortable anymore. I am not comfortable. I don't like the way you're looking at me. If there's anything I did to you, why not say it? Say it! Hmm? You told me that you are not to me. Ada. I know you must be very angry with us because of the way we treated you in the past. Please, forgive us. Inugo, Bara. Hmm? You are not our slave. And we must not treat you like one. Oh, mom. Henceforth, I shall treat you like one of us. Oh, I promise to make you happy. Oh, mom. May I come and join us? Oh, Ada. They are kids that are me. Oh, mom. Oh, no. Come and eat. Oh. Ijoma, Ijoma, I don't trust you. Ijoma, Ijoma, Mama, hey, Ijoma, you must have done something very bad to her. Yeah. 
face to make her look at you in such manner. Mama, Mama Biko, I did not do anything to her. I did not do anything to her. Even if I did something wrong to her, she should have said it to my face that shooting me in the eyes with her evil eyes. Hey! 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 So he finally proposed to you? Yes, Mama. He did. I'm so happy right now. So happy. <laughs> you should be. Mama is a nice man. He is. So any maiden he proposes to marry, she count herself very lucky. Mama, I'm lucky. I'm so lucky. In fact, I'm the mm. luckiest. <laughs> you know what? Yes, Mama. I'll go now and tell your uncle so that he will be aware of it. Mama, I can't wait to be called his wife. Unye nana. I'm happy for you. Oh. Thank you, Mama. Thank mm. you. <laughs> go now, go and inform them that. <laughs> God bless <laughs> you. Oh. Go and tell your uncle. Adeze. Mm -hmm. So, because of this so called beautiful maiden, you brought me out here in the cold of the day. How are we even sure she's going to cross our path today? Oh, guys, uh, I just want you to be patient. Mm. Mm? Just be positive. If today pass and we did not see her, we we'll just find a way to find her when she stays. Hmm. Hmm? All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> when you see her, you like her. I'll tell you. All right. Oh. Greetings, my prince. Greetings. Greetings, my prince. I'm happy to see you strong and hearty. <laughs> we thank the gods. I can see your hands are blessed. Blessed from the providence of the gods. Yes. May the gods be praised. This inchi is actually very big. Bigger than all the inchi I've ever seen. They catch my eyes. Do you sell them? Yes. I hunt and sell. Fair enough. Um, I must get one for my consumption. Ada, what do you think? Um, I think then she looks very big and um, healthy. So how much do you sell them? No. My prince, you can, you can have this as a token of appreciation for the gods. But we can pay for it. How much? Accept it as my own little kindness. Please, um, what is your name? Nana. Nana. Thank you very much. May the gods continue to bless you. Say... Oh, the gods are kind. Ah, oh, the gods are kind. <laughs> I mean, the very person we've been waiting for. I don't know, she's gonna pass it. Uh, uh, my prince, I have to go now. Oh, oh, okay, so, sorry. Thank you once again, okay? I am accepting this meet as a hand of friendship. It is well accepted. Waiting for me? Yes. I should not have kept the princess waiting if she has sent for me. It's okay. Ugeze. Meet Adure. Adure. This is Ugeze, my papa. Greetings, my prince. Greetings. I have heard so much about you. 
I must say you beat all my expectations. Thank you, my friends. Please, can we take a walk while we discuss? Yes. Let's, let's go. Do you like her? No, I don't. Uh, um, I don't just like her. She's what more than good. That means I have to give you all this inch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Malicham. What is it? What is it? I have never seen you this angry before. Please, whatever it is, tell me. I might have wronged you unknowingly. Yes, you wronged me. And not only that, you killed my heart. You stabbed me. How? I mean, you might be wrong. Whatever anybody told you about me is absolutely nothing but gossip. You know me. Gossip. Gossip, right? I saw you three days ago in the bush with my sister. Is that a gossip? I heard everything you people discussed. Abum, I loved you. I loved you to the extent if you had opened up to me that you needed my sister just to be happy. I would have sacrificed the love I have for you just for you to be happy. But you chose you chose to lie to me and hold me behind. You made me an object of caricature before my sister. For me, you promised you love me, right? Okay? You promised me that you love me. But you never meant it. You never meant it. See? I don't want you again. I've cried my eyes out on the secrets and I've moved on. I've moved on with my life and I, I suggest you move on too. Please, stay away from me. I do, I stay am, away I, from I, me. I do, don't do. you, don't touch me. Yeah. Don't you ever touch me in your life again. You can have her. Don't you ever, don't do. touch me. Dude, I'm sorry. But that is by the way. My father has decided to cut off the son of no man from our lineage. That's a good step. We will finally kick him out. <laughs> the son of no man. Finally. My plans are coming through.
Nandi, I do not understand the reason for your anger. What has come over you? The land in question was given to me by my late husband. Your late husband, my brother. My brother is no more. He is no more. Nana is a son of no man and does not belong to you. I am the Ibe that you see. So I am telling you that I do not want to see you farm on any of the lands. Why? I ask you. Why? And you are asking me why? Yes. <laughs> because you do not deserve anything. You do not deserve the lands. You do not deserve anything good. You have no son for my late brother. You brought a son whose origin we do not know. We do not know even if he's an Osu, an outcast. Do you know what that means? It is a stench. On my late brother's name, and I will do everything within my power to ensure that that shame is purged out from my lineage. I married to my husband because I could not conceive. Your late brother, you speak for, called him son, and I expect you to call him same. He is part of us. Hey, hey, hey. Stop, stop it, stop it. Don't listen, woman. Listen. You heard what my father said. We do not want to see you and your son close to the farmland. A son who we do not know his origin. Warn him. Warn him! Do not say I did not warn you. If we ever see him close, we will kill him and nothing will happen. He is the son of no man! No man! Papa, let's go! That's it. You heard it? That's fine. He is the son of no man! So, not anymore. You <laughs> want me to die of laughter? <laughs> oh, well, if you say so. <laughs> Better. <laughs> so, what uh, actually are we going to discuss then? Anything, please. Anything, but don't make me laugh again. Like, maybe tomorrow, but today, no. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, you know, yeah. my father used to tell me that uh, the reason. Two lovers will never get tired of each other. It's because they have more than just enough to talk about themselves. Are you saying that we are lovers? Um, not yet. But that is what I want from you. You know, the gods are wise. And the gods in their wisdom brought us purposely to become one. Do you believe in destiny? Yes. Destiny is the fairness and the unfairness of the gods to mankind. Hmm. Interesting. So tell me more about it. You know, to some people, they have horrible destinies. They struggle with it all the days of their lives. Why to some other people that have a better destiny, they live lavishly, not knowing what the gods did for them. You know, destiny tend to share in the belief that the gods are actually unfair. Are you indirectly referring to your Yes. Honestly, I am among the people that believe that the gods are actually unfair in apportioning destiny to mankind. But I don't want to dwell on that philosophy anymore. 
I have found something that orchestrates my life and makes me want to leave and forget all the pains, all the burdens I have borne all my life. You love me because your sister chose me. Is it not so? No. I am the prince. I'm the heir apparent to the throne of Umachala Kingdom. I have the power to choose. My sister Adizi did not necessarily choose you. She only found you. When I met you, my heart felt at home. saying that destiny has found us. Yes. I never knew I could feel so contented after all I've been through in life. I'm very lucky to meet you. I've waited for you for long. The gods are wise. We'll always be together. I was here two months back, and this land was not cultivated. Did mother do this without my consent? She knew I can do this. So why would she do it without telling me? All is well. All is not well. Where is Nketi, your daughter? I sent her to the market. I hope no problem. There is a problem. That young man I've heard is coming to ask for a hand in marriage. It will not work. <sighs> Omar. Why? Woman, I do not owe you any explanation. Nana, he's a son of no man. He cannot marry my niece. Nani, what do you do here? Tell her. I don't want to see that boy in this compound. Why? Nanya, why? Nana. Nana. Obio. Nan. How are you? I'm fine. You don't look bright. My love. There is a problem. A problem? Yes. What is it? How is your mother? I hope she's fine. Yes. 
My mother is fine. But I want to ask you something. My love, please. Who is your father? Please, my love, I did not mean to annoy you. My uncle, my uncle went to my mother and told her we cannot marry because nobody knows who your father is. Please. I need to know. I did not see the reason to ask before. But I really want to know. My love. Please. Talk to me. Who is your father? Your uncle is right. I am a son of no man. The son of no man. I borrow a one and wigging now. A The son of no man. I borrow a one and baguro. A woe. The son, my son. Do not let it trouble you so much. Let's go in. As you can see, the rain is coming. Don't worry, Mama. I'm fine here. I have already accepted my fate long time ago as the son of no man. Are you the one that cultivated our land? The one on the road to the stream. Nande and the son came to warn us to stay away from all the land. I didn't tell you because I don't want you to confront them. You don't want me to confront them. Uncle Nam the wants to take what belongs to us. And you are saying you don't want me to confront them. Are you not scared of hunger? Son, the gods are kind and they will provide for us. Let it go. I won't. My father showed me those lambs before he died. He did that because he knew Uncle Unamdi is wicked and will rise against us someday. Over my dead body will he take what rightfully belongs to me. What do you want to do? You cannot fight him. Because the elders will support him. I don't care who the elders support. I will fight with the last drop of my blood. In fact, I will warn him to stay away from those lands. Nana, don't. Nana, please. Please, please. Please, let it go. Please, my son. Please, let it go. Please. So this this man is sweet. Mm, it is sweet. It must be your first man wife. Obo ka first man wife. In kabo. Oh God, yes. Oh, is it one? Okay, is it your first man wife? Listen. My mother told me how you came to our house and confronted her. Now listen and listen attentively. Never in your diabetic life will you insult or confront my mother again. Over my dead body will you take what rightfully belongs to me. 
Stay away from those lands. Else, what will fight you will be bigger than you. What did he just say? You heard me loud and clear. Stay away from those lands. Else, what will fight you will be bigger than you. And, and, I go to die soon. and who are you talking to in that manner? Who are you talking to? I will bab you. Ah! Um, my son. No! my son. Don't worry yourself. Nana, let me tell you a story about your life in case your foster mother did not tell you. When you were born, you came with a case. In fact, when you were born, you were dragged in out of your mother's belly. And that is why, till date, you walk with a limp. Moreover, your mother gave birth to you through prostitution. And that is why nobody knows your father. I am surprised, baffled, how Adako was able to convince my late brother to bring you in out of nowhere. Bear in mind that a child born out of wedlock and without a father has no inheritance in the land. He is a son of no man. No man. Bam. Bam. Thanks for the insult, but I am not here for this. For the very last time, stay away from those lands. Else, I will disfigure your face. As for you, Mama, I will bab you. Da! Papa, uh, in case, come, 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 come. No, 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 Papa, I will not take this from a man with one leg, bro. Let me do it. That boy is evil, no. I warn all of you. Don't go near him. Zeke, stop saying that. Uh -uh. Okay. You think our strength, you can, can compare strength with that of Eche? Eche will destroy him, massacre him, and kill him. Forget it. My boy, you are strong. I know. Ah! Yes. <laughs> A little, a little boy. Nkechi, my daughter. If it is another thing that is coming in between the two of you. But in this situation, there's no remedy. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do about it. Mama. Mama. I'm in love with Nana. I'm in love with him. Please, Mama. I love you with all my heart, all my being. I don't know why this is happening to us. Mama, why is this? Why is it happening to us? No one, no one is without a father. No one. I can't tell why. Why they give him such, such hopeless status. But Mama. Mama, please. Nemo. Nemo, Biko. Biko. Please, something has to be done. Mama, something has to be done about this. Please. Mama, please. Mama, please. Please. I love him. Hey. Tell me, Melalo. Eh? Hey! Mama, I am so sorry. Please forgive me. I do not know how I got into this. But I never knew I could end up getting this hurt. Now my heart bleeds from the guilt I feel. Hey. <laughs> how will you know? Tell me, how will you know? When you were busy, Nagari, pium, 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 pium. Can't you see that what you did is despicable? I know, Mama. I know. I know my action was sinful. I have condemned myself enough that I cannot start someone else condemning me. Please tell me what to do. What should I do okay. to leave this okay. body? Is 
everything okay? Okay. It's my princess. Do you remember that hunter that gave us bush meat the other day we went out with my brother? Oh, the one that said his name is Nana. Oh, yes. You remind me of his name. My princess, what about him? <sighs> okay. You know you're the closest person to me. I'm one of my princess and I'm not going to hide anything from you. Okay, my... I have been thinking about him. And I think he's handsome. Yes, he is, my princess. And I think I am in love with him. My princess. I think you need to find that if he has the same feelings for you before expressing yourself to him, don't you think so? I think you're right. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. We need to see him again. Yes, so we need to. Okay, can now Thank go. you, my princess. Not until you prove to me that you love me. Oh, come on, Amara. I have proved that to you over a thousand times. Mm -mm. Okay? I love you, Amara. I love you. No. Say I love you, my queen. <laughs> say it. All right. I... I love you, my queen. Say it again. I love you, my queen, and I will always love you. <laughs> then prove it. All right. Amara, you must be really out of your mind. Keep on dreaming. Ah, dreamer. I can. Yes! <laughs> that is good. Though. The princess deserves to be loved. If the man in question is good, then she will be happy. My dear, she has already fallen in love with the man. I have no doubt the man is going to reciprocate her love for her. I mean, who wouldn't find himself lucky to be loved by a beautiful princess? You are very correct. I agree with you. But, but I'm yet to know who the man is. Because love, they say, is a 
tyrant that spares no one. Yes. And I'm, I've never seen her falling for anyone before. Okay, this man you were talking about must be a very unique person. Hmm. He is. You need to see him. I'm happy for my princess. I'm happy for her too. <laughs> So, so what is the gist? <laughs> gist me on a shaky. On a shaky. On a shaky. <laughs> Amara, we were actually talking about you. We were just imagining how you managed to get the prince's attention. So you know. Oh my goodness! You know, uh, whenever the prince looks at me, there's this light in his eyes that turns my life around and whenever he looks at me I am so happy <laughs> you know you know I told you I told you and it's it, you know, I am so happy I know you're happy for me too yeah, you said it and didn't you see the princess reciprocating the love yes so you noticed it I, we all noticed it yes I can't wait for him to propose to me because if he does I will say yes yes Of you will be lucky to be my mate of honor. <laughs> <laughs> I know you like it, right? Chama, this is getting serious. <laughs> I hope that's not a statement of oh. jealousy. Amara, how can you say such a thing? You of all people should know we are suddenly behind you. I know, and I am so happy. At least that stupid Adure will stop coming here. That girl is not shaking. Am I a shake now? <laughs> I am the shakeable shaker. Exactly. <laughs> On a shake! Yay! On a shake! Can we go home now? I'm not sure he's going to pass here again. My princess, just wait. I saw him coming this way. I'm sure he will pass here. Just wait a bit, please. Okay. Oh, look at him. He's finally here. Greetings, my princess. And greetings to you too. We meet again. Yes. How is your brother? My brother is fine, but I have been waiting here to meet you again. I hope all is well. Yes. I thought you'd be happy to see me. That's why I've been standing here to see when you will pass. Who wouldn't be happy to see the princess? I'm glad to see you. Do you tell that to all the maidens? I have not seen any maiden who deserves my love expression. Hmm. You talk as if you knew I was waiting for you. And you sound so prepared. A man is always prepared for what he wishes for. And in essence, you're saying you wish to have me. You are the princess. Who wouldn't? Hmm. Please, can you take a walk with me and tell me more? And tell me how you want to have me. Hmm? Please. You can tell me about your likes and what you don't. Because I know. So. My princess, greetings. Greetings to you, Adure. I'm sure you're going to our house to see my brother. He has been waiting for you. Yes, I'm going to see him. Greetings, Nana. Adure, how are you? I'm fine. I think we have walked about enough for today. I have to go back home now. 
Our stay was blissful. It was worth it. I hope to see you again tomorrow. I shall make out time. Thank you. You're welcome, my princess. Father will consider me as your ideal bride. Who will not consider you an ideal royal bride? You were born for this. My father will be very happy to meet you. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, I am sure. Oh, my prince. I brought, I brought food for you. Thank you, Amara. Thank you very much. Mm. Um, my prince, I want to dance for you. No, Amara, not now. As you can see, I am with my beautiful woman. I want to give her all the attention she deserves. You are so benevolent with your words. Adore, my father will be waiting. Let us eat. So we don't keep him waiting, okay? Are you okay? Yes, my parents. Okay, uh, let's go and see my father. Hmm. Amara, what is it? Why are you so sad? Simeon, can you imagine? Because of that stupid, useless Adore. The prince refused to give me attention. Can you imagine? Why? How? Okay. Well, is that why you're this angry? Why won't I be angry? Just give me two reasons why I should be happy. I took my foot to him. Do you know what he told me? He said, please excuse me. I'm with my beautiful woman. Who is the beautiful woman? Adore. And he refused to take my foot. Can you imagine? Because of Adore. I'm trying to even like figure it out. Can that girl shake? I need to shake now. No, but you know. Look at me. Does she shake more than me? Look at it now. Does she shake? Can she shake more than me? Can she? Can she? Hey. On a shake now. <laughs> yeah, this is shaking will all kill somebody in this palace. Hey! Are you laughing at me? <laughs> no, sorry. Go mm. keep shaking. Oh, I'm busy. Can I be lying to myself? I'm gonna shake now. But I'm shaking now. Shake, good morning. What's your name? I'm fine. I'm <laughs> fine. In a hurry now. I want to talk to you. How are you? What is it? You know what I discussed with you the other time. The other time? Yes. I can't remember. You can't remember? Okay, don't worry, my dear. I will refresh your memory. You know? 
I told you that you are beating me. Eh? If I can have my eh? I would like to marry you. And what did I tell you when you told me that? Don't worry, I remember what you told me. Eh? Eh? And I told you to think more about it. Yes. Think about it. There is nothing to think about it here. I can't marry you. There is no reason to think about it. But why? In Ajun, why? What can I do? Why? It's a cagono. You're old. In our news, in our bomb mill. Mua. You dry gono. Uka. What can I do? Sorry, can I? I still working. As you know, I have four wives. My younger wife, she's still younger than you. What are you saying? Go ask her. If you make her again, you got to be. Why you dry go? Because in our bomb mill. When you came to see me, I hope all is well. All is well. Are you not happy to see me? I'm happy to see you just that you could not visit them before. Yes, I'm just bored at home, so I decided to come and see you. You're welcome. What do Thank I you. offer you? Nothing. You did not go for hunting today? No. I will go and set my traps later against it tomorrow. Okay. How is Geza? Geza is fine. How is Adeze? Adeze is fine the last time I saw her. I I was surprised to see both of you. Same here. How? I'm surprised the princess has interest in me. But I know it won't work because of my status as the son of my mother. She came to you. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Do you, do you love do you love her? Who wouldn't love the princess? I know she has interest in me. But it won't work because of my status. Was the son of my man. Now you surely have interest in her. Adure, why are you being too curious? Is that something you're not telling me? No. No. I'm sorry if I made you feel. If I'm curious about my questions, maybe I'll allow you to finish up. Oh, this is an abomination. 
How could such a thing happen and you're just letting me know of it? Eh? What do you take me for? Papa, I am asking you. My son, take it easy. Even yeah. you, it's your Bala. So you mean that son of no man harassed the both of you and you did not find it needful to tell me? My son, this thing happened a long time ago, Nubiko. Uh, don't call me your son. Uh, because you did not see me as one. Even if it happened a long time ago, you should have told me. Hey, but when the last time I had a confrontation with him, did I not tell you? Yes. And I confronted him and I gave him serious warning. You did? I am not only going to do that. But this time around, I will put serious fear in his head so that next time he sees an elder, he'll be respectful and humble. Chelo, Chelo. You mean you confronted Nana? Yes. Papa, what is so surprising about it? Even the color of a chameleon is for survival, not for beauty. Papa, are you downgrading me? Mba. Eh? Here. Hey, hey, when, when you confronted him, uh -huh. hey, what did he say? I mean, what did he do? Nothing. What could he say? What would he do? He couldn't say Pim. He was so afraid. Eh? Do you mean you want to come confront him again? Yes. And I will not only confront him, but this time I will remind him of his place in this land. He does not belong in this land. And it's high time someone reminded him of that. I will show him that even the colors of a chameleon are for survivors and not for beauty. I will where is he? Nana! Nana! Nana, come out and face me like a man! Where is he? Woman, where is your son? Habun, what is it? Stop answering me with questions! Where is your son? I demand to know where he is. Now! Your son forgot he has no place in this land and he goes about constituting his what has come over I will you? deal with what him today. Come? Useless. Oh. Hey. 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 You mean Nana did this to you? This is unbelievable. I did not even know how it happened. It just happened like that. But don't worry. He will have me to contend with. I will deal with him personally. Imonyambo. Ah! Ah! It is high time we cast him out of our land. Yes. I totally agree with you. We have to cast him out of our land. Hey, don't worry. Nana will regret his action. You know me. Ah! Can't believe he did this to you. Ah! What? How can a man do this to his fellow man? This is brutal. That nana, that boy is a beast. He's not just a beast. Nana is a fool. Mana, I, I want my son. I want him. But he was bragging that he was doing it. Hey, he was confident, no. I didn't know he was going to treat him. Like Look at him now. Nana, nana thinks he has won. Mba. Hmm? He who fights and runs away will live to fight another day. Mm -hmm. This fight will now continue. And if they beat me another day, what happens? Uh -huh. mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let's go. Go and treat your son.
Your Highness. He needs some fresh air. He may recover. keeps reoccurring and and each time it seems unbearable to me Geza is my only brother and they are apparent to the throne I don't know why the gods of Allah will allow such infirmity to befall my brother I don't know why <laughs> Knows best. It's well. Greetings, Simba. Greetings, Simba. Greetings. You are welcome. I have to go now. I'll see someone later. Alright. I will come and see you later. Okay. The maiden with you is the Igwe's daughter. Who is the maiden that left earlier today? Adure. She is well. You must not have anything to do with the Igwe's daughter. Yes. The one you call Adure is better for you. Adure is in love with the prince. Then, then what plans do you have with the Igwe's daughter? I am the son of no man. I can't have the princess, even if I want. I know she loves me, but her love for me will hold no water. You don't have to always call yourself that. You don't! Oh, 
But that's who I am. The son of no man. He told me my father denied me and rejected my mother even before I was born. For that reason, I prefer to call myself that. I am the son of no man. There is no one born without a man. It makes no difference! It makes no difference. It's, there is none. There is none. Calm down, there is none. It's okay. Mother, who was that young man that came to visit to Geze on his sick bed? Oh, his name is Nana. He's a hunter. He's the one that gave us the meat we came home with some time ago. Oh. And he has been so generous to us. Oh, 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 oh. The new friend he told us he met in the village? Yes, Mama. Okay. My princess. Mama. <laughs> I noticed the way you were drawing yourself closer and closer to the boy. Is there anything you are not telling me? Talk to me, my daughter. You know, we don't keep any secret from each other. Mama, your observations are true. He's the man after my heart. And I've not stopped thinking about him ever since I laid my eyes on him. <sighs> Has he made his intention known to you? Not yet, Mama. And I'm very sure he likes me and he wants to be with me. I think he's a good man. But my daughter, please, you have to be very, very careful. You know you are the princess. Because I wouldn't want you to make any mistake while choosing your husband. Mama, <laughs> I know he's good enough for me. Can't you see how happy he has made me? Mm? I am happy for you, my daughter. Let me see your brother. Well, with you. you sent for me. Yes, sit down. Um, your mother has told me about a young man. Your heart is yearning for. Is it so? Yes, Papa. That is a great development. It is good that at a point in 
every human life, man or woman, he falls or she falls in love and finds one who would love him or her. I am glad as you are aging. I mean, the way you are aging to maturity. <laughs> Papa, I know you have something to tell me. Just say it. Yes, my daughter. It is only a fool who hears it is six and just chunks it into his pocket. When I heard of this, I made some investigations. As a good father or mother can do. And in my findings, I discovered that that man is not one you can mingle with. You can't be with him. Why, Papa? At least I need an explanation. Yes, daughter, I owe you that. I owe you that. You see, my daughter, it is not as if I am not in support of your happiness. But, you see, that man in question is a son of no man, son of nobody. Nobody knows his family background. He was picked and raised by that woman he lives with, who he calls mother. No one knows who his father is or whether he is an Osu. Oh, yes. Nana cannot be an Osu. But who is his father? Who? Look, I will be the last, even as a king, to give up the hand of my own daughter in marriage to someone whose family background is not known by anyone. Never. See, daughter, it is not as if I don't, I don't know how you feel. I know your feeling. But, respect for your royal background should be paramount in your consideration. Over the years, we have been very unfortunate. The gods have never been so kind to us. What borders your brothers held has been a threat to this throne. The throne that has been in our lineage for generations. I am thinking that you should share in the grief the family has been passing through than creating another one. I've heard you, Papa. Good. Good. Now you may go. Na, na, a world, the son of no man. Adure, what is it? You look excited. What is it? I got the news from the palace that Ugeze is well and only fit. Are you serious? Yes. May the gods be praised. <laughs> Let's go and see him. May the gods be praised. Let's go and see him.
Your Highness, he is now well. I am happy you are back on your feet. Thanks to the gods. My friend, it's so kind of you to come and visit me. Thank you. May the gods of our land bless you. Say, I promise to get a bushmeat so we can celebrate your recovery. My friend, that will be appreciated. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank I you for coming to see me. Thank you for coming to see me. <coughs> no. I can no longer be with you. It is my greatest wish to spend the rest of my life with you. I, I, feel, I feel so bad that now it's not going to be possible. You do not have to cry, my princess. But my heart bleeds. I love you so, so much, Nana. I love you from the deepest part of my heart. But you can't disobey your father. He means well for you. I know. But I'm nothing without you, Nana. I am nothing. Can I ask you for one favor? Go ahead. Can you please close your eyes? Please. Why was the princess crying? Her father told her she can't get married to the son of no man. No, you don't have to. I was 19 years old when Papa Nuku died. And he made me promise him that I will never at any point in time question or fight you about who my father is. That promise I will keep for the rest of my life. It's my burden. Let me carry it. I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. So I am sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't need to. You don't. It's not your fault. Are you regretting? Why you picked me up as a toddler? No! Never! I can't regret doing that! I can't! 
and I won't ever regret doing it. I am sorry. No! Do not tell me sorry. It's not your fault. I blame the man that denied and rejected me even before I was born. It's not your fault. Whether he's dead or alive, I don't need his apology anymore. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. The princess has not been happy and it gives me concern. But why can't she be with him? Why? I do not know exactly. Perhaps. Her father thinks he does not deserve her. Well, it is true, I believe. Because not everybody deserves royalty. Yes, it's not easy now. It's not now. <laughs> I am so happy because that stupid, useless Adri will not smell the palace. <laughs> Why would you bring the prince into this discussion? Uh -uh. But it's the same thing now. It's the same thing. What is good for the goose is equally good for the gender. You see that Adore, she will not come here at all. <laughs> Amara, and who deserves the prince? Of course you know it is me. Even the gods have approved it. You know. Please, Amara, Biko, don't even start. You hear? Don't even start. You must know that it's not always about you. We are talking about something very important here. Must you bring your best less affection for the prince in this matter? Did you just call me affection business? No, no. You just called my affection business. <laughs> I can see you are jealous. Yes. <laughs> Wait. Amara, jealous of who? Me. Because you know I love the prince and the feeling is mutual. Both of you are jealous because <laughs> you cannot shake. I can't shake. Jealous people. <laughs> Amara. What? <laughs> You're just a dream. You know what? You're mainly building castles in the air. Please, oh. there. Now watch my dream come true. I just want to know, is it, did you, did you reject my proposal because of that boy? Because of that son of no man, Nana, who can't even offer you anything? <laughs> Wait, Cherigodi, Ichie, is that why you're telling me round the village just to monitor who and who I'm going out with? Eh? I'm not telling you. Hey, Ichie, let me tell you, I wish. Nana had interest in me. I would have chosen over, over, hundred times better than you. Yes, than to consider you in my thoughts. It's your now, girl. For the last time, stop following me around. Biko. You must be out of your mind to talk to me like that. What's wrong with you? Uh -uh. Like you said, if actually I'm out of my mind, I would have considered you. But no, I'm not out of my mind. Stop telling me about this, so. I won't marry you, Ichi. I won't marry you. Get out of my house. I said, come Stop playing me around, though. Ichi! Mama! Eh? Hey. Mama! Mm. 
Nana. 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 Greetings, Mama. Greetings, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine, Mama. Um, I came to look for Nana. Um, he went for hunting. It's not long he left. Okay. I'll be going home now. Please tell him that I came looking for him. Okay, I will. I will. Um, wait a little. Please sit, my daughter. Um, sit down for a little conversation. I have a very personal question for you, my daughter. I'm listening, Mama. You're a friend to my son. Yes, Mama. Good. Do you love my son? Nana and I are just friends. And he knows I'm seeing someone, Mama. He told me so. I know. But I want you to answer me. Like I said, it's a personal question. Listen to your heart. I'll keep the secret between us. Nana. I love him so much that I wish he knew. But the truth is, my love for him is not important. Because we're not destined to be together. Problem. No, nothing. <laughs> nothing. I thank you so much for your sincerity. Yes, ma'am. Like I said, I'll keep this to myself. Okay? Your secret is safe with me. Okay, Mama. I have to leave. It's okay, my daughter. Please tell him I came looking for him. I will. Love and
Adure. Um, um, actually, I'm going to the farm to get something before I sighted you. What are you doing here? I'm resting. I know what happened between you and Adeze. Must have hurt you so much. I was expecting that beforehand. My status as the son of no man has brought me so much pain, sorrow and agony. If not for my mother, I would have left this land and go to somewhere very far where my status would hurt me no more. Well, truly life is unfair. But it is worth it if you could find something to live for. And if you truly value your mother so much, you can as well consider it a reason you pretend forget your sorrows. How is Ugeze? Ugeze fares no better than any of us. He has been brooding. And he gives me so much concern that I have suited for all means, but it's not working. I feel his pain. Asking you, is there something you're not telling us? Something like what? What are you talking about? So you're even trying to hide it, right? Hide what? Pretender. So you mean you've been seeing HS and all this while? The Mazin Namdi. You never bother to tell us. We your friends. So oh, that is it. Oh, for your own interest, yes. I've been seeing him. But it's not what you think. Okay, so you're not even trying to deny it at all, Amaka. Deny what? I've been seeing that chair. Yes. So it's it's true. Hey? Yeah. Yeah? It's true. But we just were talking. Okay? Liar. Liar. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe that you don't have anything to do with it. Look. I don't believe that you guys are just saying. Amaka, it is your life and your choice. Anyway, as far as it makes you happy, it's okay. Thank you a lot for that. Hmm? It is my life and it's my choice. And it's also my etch. <laughs> Eche. Mm -hmm. Your mother is not home. Yes, I'm the only one at home. She went out before my friends came to me. See me. I hope you're not in a hurry. No, I came here to see you. I missed you. <laughs> oh, so. Hey. Amaka, we have to be on our way. Hey. No. All of a sudden. Yes, yeah. so that you can um, have time to enjoy your yeah. good company. No problem, eh? Catch you, fool. Take care. The friends that she loves. Ah, those gossip bears. How are you? You help me. I'm arranging firewood. <laughs> you have to help you. I'm arranging this firewood. <laughs> yes, they. they. Ah.
you get you? <laughs> How are you and where are you going to? I'm good. I was actually on my way to your house. Really? Yeah, I am. Who is she? Her name is Adure. Is she a woman? <laughs> <clears throat> You said you were on your way to my house. Yes. <laughs> I wanted to inform you that I'm about to get married. Mm -hmm. My marriage ceremony will be happening in the next half of day. Are you serious? You're I'm getting dead. married? Yes. Congratulations. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Uh, no. Please, help me and inform Mama. Tell her I'll come and visit her later. I will. May the gods be with you. And you too. one for us because I'm taking this one home. Yes, sister. <laughs> Are you serious? You know what? I'll go home before you to show it to Mama. <laughs> she can't wait. <laughs> of them. This is big. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Nana, thank you. Let's go. Cool. <laughs> this is big. <laughs> big, right? Yeah. Well, your observation is true. Hey, it's written all over you. Look at your countenance. What's the problem? It's here. Is he not that son of no man? I think the elders of this land needs to do something and chase him out of our land. What has he done this time around? It's your Bala. You should be asking me what he has not done. I think the elders of this land have forgotten their duties to safeguard this land from miscreants. But I want to assure you people that the more we allow that son of no man remain in this land, there are higher possibilities that he will rule us one day. My son, it seems like you are my thoughts. How do you know what I have in mind? Huh? I have a plan already. But you know, they say a single bracelet does not jingle. Yes. Hmm? And then they buy that, you know, see? And you call my medon or bow. So let's put it together. It's here. Whatever plans we need to do has to be executed immediately. We need to chase him out of our land immediately. Anything to just get rid of him. Come, come, let me tell you something. Yeah. Come, my son. You see, we are going to discuss that thing. <clears throat> that boy has beaten more than he can chew. We have endured him enough in this land. But now that I have a plan, like the dog say, you fall for me, I fall for you, then it is play. We almost fall in line to make this plan work. Nishio Pala, you do not have to worry about my own part. I support this cause. I will do everything within my power to make it a success. Yes, you are the son of your father. And you must know, your father is in full support of this plan. Hmm? Obun, hope you know what you should do as the youth leader. It's your Bala. Wood already touched by fire is not hard to set alight. Leave the rest to me. Onumane Sum, you should know how bad I needed this plan to work. That is good. We don't have time. The time is now. Mr. Fala, 
You will allow me to finish my drinks before asking for anything. Come on, go on and finish your drink. Enjoy yourself. There's more drinks if you want more. Come on, go ahead. Son of no man. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm telling you. <laughs> you! know the prince loves you. Hmm. Okay. Amara. What? I, I, I hope you're not going to do anything stupid. Okay, shake it Just watch me. I... Greetings, um, oh. beautiful maiden of our land. Where are you up to? And take that smile with me. Don't! Please! I'm begging you! What? What happened? Why are you bitter? Hey? Me? Bitter? You want to know I'm bitter? You want to know why I'm bitter? Okay. I will tell you. Me? Or whatever your name is called. You cannot come from nowhere that you want to date the prince. It's not possible now. It's not possible. You will go back to where you are coming from. Leave the prince alone though. Leave him alone because it is not going to work. You have heard me. Amaru, what is the matter with you? You don't need to be this rude to her. I have spoken to her. If she has ears, let them hear. Use them well. My dear. Sorry, my dear. Sorry. Don't mind her. She can be this rude at times. Please, don't take her words. It's okay. Serious. It's okay. I am fine. Okay, um, so how is Ugeze? Oh, he's fine. And Adeze, everyone is fine. Okay, tell them that I'll be coming to home to see them. All right. Mm. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Eh? bye. Amara! What? What? This your stupid love for the prince will put you into trouble one day! I don't care! I don't care! Am Amara, is it me you're talking to? to entertain you. What will you have me do? Do you want me to dance for you or I should sing? Amara. My prince. I am not in the mood for any of your entertainment. My prince, you don't look happy. I want to make you happy. Your happiness is what matters to me right now. And I said I'm not in the mood. Just go away. My friend. I love you. Yes. Yes, I do. I've, I've been keeping this to myself all the while, but, but it's true. My prince, I know even the gods knows that this feeling is true. Nobody deserves you better than me. I can't shake. Look at me. Amara. My prince. It is not a bad thing to have feelings for someone. But I want to let you know that emotion is solely personal and can be managed. Whatever feelings you think you have for me, I don't need it. You can either kill it, Prince, I... don't speak while I'm speaking. Don't ever express your feelings to me again. 
Get out. What can I say, Sheikh? I said, get out! Yusuf Amachala. We are here. The task we are about to embark on is our duty as the use of this entire kingdom. We cannot allow someone who does not belong here to occupy our land and grow wings. It will be a thing of shame if we allow the son of no man to occupy our land and in the long run challenge us. <laughs> our fellow youth will think we are not representing them well. So it's time to take action. We must do something about it. Because our people say, Now you have one year, Ogula Lachaya. Makadia Wo Chinti, Na Yesu. Do you agree with me? We agree. Yeah, okay. Good. The elders are already on their way. We shall wait for them. And as soon as they join us, we'll go together and confront that son of no man and chase him out of our land. Oya Kabu. What? what brings them to our house? What is it? What do you want from us? Ndichi. What is the problem? <clears throat> the youth have a message for you people. Bam. Nana, the son of no man. Today is the day of judgment for you. We, the youth of Amachala, have decided that you will leave our land. You do not belong here. Yes. And we are here to tell you that you have overstayed your welcome. Bam. Yes. Okay? Yes. I know. Yes. I see. He cheer bala. Mazendam. So this is your plan to destroy him. Hmm? Only a foolish cat will challenge a tiger just because they look alike. None of you is in the position to judge me. I warn you! You cannot withstand us, Nana! You cannot! Anabala Gumba. I said, what is going on here? Is my father aware of this? <clears throat> my, my prince, we are just trying to settle a small family issue. Oh, oh, yes, my prince. Yes. It's a lie. My prince, they are here to intimidate their generation, not me. Yes. My father must hear about this. I'll get out. Good. Leave. Leave. Rock hard. Welcome, my prince. Thank you, mother. I hope you're okay. I have never
never seen my brother so embittered ever since he recovered from his ailment. He has been so miserable and sad and has infected our home with sad mood. So where is he now? Nobody knows his whereabouts and he does not want to be comforted. And that's what makes it worse. My mother has been worried and I'm afraid if anything happens to him, my mother might not survive it. I'm worried. I'm worried too. It seems he has started avoiding me. I don't know where to send him. And I do not know where he is. He has shot everybody out, including me, his sister. Uges has never been like this ever since our growing up. Um, it's, it's okay. I'll, I'll find out time to talk to him. And equally know the problem. Please. Please, I am counting on you. As he stands now, only you can get him to talk so that we know what troubles him. It's all right. I will talk to him. I will be going to the market. Ngwano, I will let him know you are here. Please do that. Okay. Ngwano, Gankoma. Thank you very much. Call me friend. I see you as a brother I never had. So call me brother instead. Alright. Thank you very much. My son. Thank you very much, my brother. I admire your bravery. How you stood your grounds against all odds even as a son of no man. I envy your strength and confidence. You are such a strong breed. Thank you very much, my brother. I will present your case to my father. I will make sure he does something concerning your so-called status as a son of no man. You are a son of the soil. You deserve some respect. I will make sure no man ever calls you that again. You are indeed my brother. Thank you very much. That's so kind of you. I do really deserve such a man like you. But she is already with you. And no one deserves her better. More than me. Why? Because I'm the prince. My father's status as the king of this land has nothing to do with my personal life. I am just an ordinary individual who struggles to breathe and live like every other normal human being. Meeting Adure added so much value to my miserable life. But for how long? For how long will I be with her? Adure deserves someone that will always be there for her. Someone like you. I have never been there. I have only struggled to be there for her. For this time. I have no more strength left inside of me to struggle. You speak with a heavy heart, my brother. Yes. And that is why I came to see you. So I could share my burdens with you. But now I have to go. My parents will be worried about me. Once again, 
My Prince, thank you so much for your visit. We appreciate. All of us worried. I'm sorry, sister. Please don't do it again. Hmm? Father, mother, please, I'm sorry. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry for getting both of you worried. Please. That's all right. So we are. Where are you coming from? I went to see my friend. You mean the hunter? Yes, mother. You're very correct. Do you mean the one they call the son of no man? Yes, father. Father, I had a fight today with some, some elders and the youth. They tried to suppress him for no just cause, father. Father, please. I want you to intervene in this case concerning him and the king's men. Please, father. Nobody should be called the son of no man in this land because nobody actually is, father. Please. It is very humiliating and degrading. I want you to intervene. Please, I beg you, father. Mother, please. I never knew or heard there is any dispute in this community in his regards. Well, I will look into it. I will find out tomorrow. Then I will find a solution. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much. For some time now, you have been all to yourself. You don't seem happy anymore. Is there anything you are not telling me? Mother, I am fine. I have held that all my body. And everything that has been bothering me is wiped away completely. Thank you, Father.
Ada. Ada. You have cried all day long. Please, stop. So you do not develop headache. I, 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 I can't stand your tears. Please. It's okay. Oh. Adore. It's okay, my daughter. Eh? Stop crying. I know how you feel about his death. Oh, imagine the Igwe's wife. Eh? Lolo passed on as soon as she could not bear the pains. Hey. Everybody in this village feels so bad about his death. But the gods knows why. Huh? Please stop crying. Put yourself together, one. Oh, hell! Oh, oh, oh! Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> accepted me when everyone rejected me. <laughs> I never knew that his visit yesterday was to say goodbye. My prince. My prince. That's denied my son healing and watch him live with a tormenting ailment for more than two decades which he struggled for his life now you have taken him away and left me with no one to replace me as a king and continue my lineage and my wife also followed him to join my ancestors. Therefore, I have come to inquire from you what I have done to attract your cause upon my household and upon my reign. What abomination have I done that I am forbidden by the gods not to complete the circle like every other king before me? I have never claimed to be without sin. But gods of our land, why treat me with such cruelty? I beseech you, gods of our land, to treat my case with mercy. 
Messi. Messi. The tragedy that befell the house of Igwabogi is so much a great concern to me. For us to have lost the only heir apparent to the truth, the gods must be angry with us. I feel bad. I feel bad for an entire community. And most especially, the Abogi, the entire family, is a great loss. Mm -hmm. It's very sad. That's true. Mm -hmm. But what is bad luck to one man? It's good luck for another. Yes. I don't get you right. What are you trying to say? It's here. As the wealthiest man in this land. Eh, you are the next in lineage for the kingship, man. Are you not? If I know, Igwabogi is not going to take another wife to be my mother. That is true. That's yes. True. Am I not right? Yeah, right. Okay. But I don't have interest in royalty. And being a king has never come to my thoughts. <laughs> when a man is coming towards you, you need not tell him, come. The throne is already here with you. Why are you shying away from me? Oh. <laughs> <Your> responsibility. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Excuse me. You know what? Let's drop this issue. This matter, let us drop it. Mm. Rather, let's mourn for the Igwe's house. Uh, okay. It's here. There is nothing better than what I discussed with you the other time about the maiden in your house. How far have you gone? Hey, 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 hey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. How far? Um, well, that thing has been too difficult for me. Because, um, for me to call somebody a wife who has been calling me father is hard. Very, very hard. Too difficult. Oh. It's yes, okay. What is difficult in him telling the maiden to be his wife? Nothing. What is difficult there? Nothing. Nothing. Oh. Oh, it's a... Are you okay? Okay, on what? I said, are you okay as a man? <laughs> I am very, very okay. But you know what? I will give this matter a second thought. Eh? A second thought. Second thought? Yes. Each year, whatever you want to think, think it now. Before your mother or uncle on your own. Think fast. Think it now. Now, now, now. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Adure. Hmm? is such a great lady. I believe she deserves better. She has gotten more than she deserves. Do you mean to say she is fulfilled with me? Of course. Who will not be happy she's loved by the prince? Yes. Yes, I'm the prince. But what kind of prince am I? I believe she does deserve more better than my kind of prince. I believe she deserves more better than my kind of prince whose life is in constant misery, always struggling to breathe like every other person. Ugeze, how could you say such a thing about yourself? Yes. Yes, I have to say it. I just want you to believe and know why I said I do it. I do it should belong to someone where well deserving. That's me. Just hold on. Are you thinking of breaking your love affair with her? No. Never. Look at this. I can't afford to break my relationship with her while I'm still alive. Mm-hmm. 
But how much life do I still have left inside of me? Oh, Gaza. You scare me with the words you say. I'm sorry. Tomorrow, I want you to help me talk to her. I want you to help me tell her how much I love her. I will, as you have said it, and I'm sure she will be swept off her feet. I believe it will make more sense to her. I want you to get me more meat. I want to fill my stomach today. Okay, just shut up. I'll be right back. <clears throat> First, I was uncomfortable with the words they said, but I never knew my brother was saying his last words. I, I wish I had known better. I wish I had known better. <laughs> you mean he said all those things to you before you joined the ancestors? Yes, but I never knew he was pouring out his heart to me. I never knew. I thought I found my destiny. I thought my meeting him would make me a happy and a fulfilled woman. So you should have died. Who cares? You should not have died. Why? Is this the destiny you made to be with me? Is this? That's the you promised me. Adese. He promised to be with me. Adura, you should not talk like that. My brother loved you so much. He loved you so much and thought you deserved someone better than him. No. Adura, when he was saying all those things, I never understood what he meant. Let me tell you something. Adura, who gets that my brother actually got tired of life. My brother got tired of life, Adure. Okay, so is this the promise you made me? Is this the destiny you are talking about? By leaving me? Adure. Adure, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Does it mean the son of no man has succeeded in silencing us? He has defeated Mazinam their nature, his son. And the appearance of the prince that day has sent fears in the hearts of the youth. So tell me, is there nothing else we can do to eliminate him? Impossible. As long as I'm alive, I will not allow him to settle on parallel ground with us who are aborigines of this land. Then what do we do? To deal with him, of course. I have a plan. But the issue here is, are you willing? Chief, of course I'm willing. As long as the plan will help to eliminate him, I am willing. Hmm. That is why I brought you here. Take. Take it. I'm 
hope so. And um, I hope you will find reason with what I'm about to say. I'm listening, Papa. Um, first of all, I feel very sorry for what happened to your friend, the prince, whom all of us lost in the co hand of that. I never knew you had something with him until his death. Thank you, Papa. His death affected everybody. Then I'll be fine. <laughs> Fair enough. But the big thing now is... Will you find reason with what I'm about to say? You know, throughout this our land, I am the wealthiest. The gods bless me bountifully. You know it. I am not lacking anything as a human being. Mm -hmm. And um, considering the fact that the kingship of this land will soon direct it to my house. So, I don't want what happened to Igwe Bogeti to repeat itself in my own house. So, what I'm lacking now is a male child. And I've been thinking over it and my mind directed me to you. How about Mama? <laughs> I am the man of the house. I am in charge. Huh? You know I love my wife so much. I will not like anything that will hurt her. But what I'm talking about, all I'm saying is for our general benefit. You know I can't say no to you. The truth is, I do not see myself calling you my husband. Yes. No, a man I have called my father all my life. And your wife I called my mother. No, no, no. Get, get up, get up, get up, get up. Don't worry. Papa, you're a good man. Yes. And I owe you my life. But I, I want you to reconsider me in your thoughts. Because I will not be comfortable in sharing the same bed with my mother. Please. I assure you by the gods that it's not yet late for your wife not to bear you a son. It is well. I will not dare take you as my wife against your wish. And um, I would like you to see it as a repayment of taking good care of you. You understand me? Thank you, Papa. So I so much appreciate your sincerity.
Tadima, he chan yam miri no gadima, one yama, he chan yam miri no gadima, inugu, he chan yam miri no gadima. I remembered the story my father told me concerning my destiny. When I met Ukeze, I thought I found the destiny I seek. But little did I know that there is nothing like destiny. If you don't want to follow the destiny your father described, how then do you want to live your life? Following my destiny has stood as a destruction to my life. I want to live a normal life. I want to live, to live a normal life. I want to follow my heart. There's nothing like destiny. So where is your heart leading you? The other day, the other day I came to your house. I met your mother. She, she asked me a question. What did she ask you? I cannot marry such a man like you. I have heard about how that man has been harassed and humiliated by the king's men. But to think that the man who wants to pay my bride price is among the men that perpetrate such regrettable acts. I cannot take that for this reason. Consider our courtship cancelled. Hey, Ijoma, please. Ijoma, please don't do this to me. I accept that my actions were wrong. I thought I was doing the right thing. Nana is a son of no man and Adura is way too good for him. How dare you? How dare you, Obum? Huh? Call your fellow man a son of no man. And who are you to say that? Are you better than him? Are you? I have seen more reasons to break up with you. Hey, you're my please. please. You're, you're, okay, all right. I've heard all you've said. I have said that I am totally wrong. I have heard everything you have said. Please. You know what? I am not going to break up with you. Oh. But on the condition that you should go and apologize to him. Also apologize to my sister for the embarrassment. But I can't do that. I cannot apologize to the son of no man. I see. It is over. Get your What are you going to do? I don't even know. I mean, I am so angry right now. Listen, this is not a thing of anger. Unless you don't love Ijoma like you claim. Of course I love her. I cannot afford to lose her. 
I have sacrificed a lot for her and you know, our marriage plans are already in progress. Then you must do what you have to do. Are you suggesting I apologize to the son of no man? Yes, if that will make you not to lose the Joma. Or do you have a choice? of the gods, what brought you to my palace? The gods sent me to you. Your cry has got into their heart. Because are kind indeed. They are kind indeed. Um, Eye of the gods, please. I would like you to stay back for a meeting that will take place here very soon now. I will need your eminent wisdom in taking some decisions in some issues on my table this morning. I will stay back, Your Highness. Good. Guards! Your Highness. I want you to go and summon all the cabinet members. Tell them to be here immediately. Also, summon Nam the Ibe. And also the hunter, too. Go quickly. not have said those words. And please forgive me for all the ways I've treated you and even all the times I've disrespected you. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very sorry. Mm. You're doing this because of my sister Ijama, right? <sighs> Nana, I joined him to ask for your forgiveness. I condemned his actions and made him realize how wrong he was. I am sure he's going to respect you henceforth. Do find a place in your heart to forgive him, please. Because Maria, Ada, Yoya. No, no. Your presence is near at the palace now. What does the Igwe want from my son? I greet you. My fellow elders, I greet you. Igwe, I want to thank you for the special attention you have paid to the matter that concerns me. Thank you, Igwe. <clears throat> we all know that in our tradition, a woman does not partake in sharing of family properties. Everything goes to the male children. Even when the man has only a son. So I don't understand the reason. A young man who don't know his origin will grow up and start dragging lad with a son of the house. I have not seen anything like that in this land. And we must not allow that. It is indeed 
very, very complicated to make judgment in a case like this. The young man said his foster father, who was a brother of Nandi here, gave him the land in particular. Therefore, even though the man in question is not, do we not think it is wise that we protect the deed and let this young man keep the land as a gift from his foster father? Ban. Mm -mm. It's your economy, you are wrong on this one. Remember that in our tradition, we have no place for a son that we don't know his origin. A son of no man for that reason. No, it won't happen in this land. Nana should be concerned about tracing his origin. That is his father and his mother. And not to come here to start dragging over my late brother's land. Even if it is true that my late brother gave him the land, that action was wrong. And that I'm here to correct that wrong action. It is against our customs and tradition. Yes. Oh. <clears throat> uh, young man, you said that your foster father willingly and directly allotted those lands to you. Yes, Your Highness. Good. Please, can you tell us? Who was there to bear witness to the deed? Yes, there's a boy here. Was there as a witness? No. The wise one. Now, have you been able to ask your foster mother who your father is? My foster mother told me that my mother died after giving birth to me. I've never heard anything about my father. And I was brought to her by my foster mother to pass. That was when, when you were young. young. Now you have grown. Have you ever made an effort to ask her again or tried to trace or locate where your father comes from? My foster father made me swear that I will never ask questions about the baby. And I promised him I will never ask questions. And that promise. Hmm. Now, can you tell us who your father is? What is his name? Is okay, okay. Can you tell us who your foster mother is, or what is what is her name? I would like to oh. see her. Guards. Go now to this young man's house. Summon that woman there who is his mother. Go! Eye of the gods, can you please tell us your connection with this young man? And tell us everything you know about his family background. <laughs> Your Highness, I'll tell you. The mother's name is Akudo. The only surviving child of Mazi Ikeduri, of the Dudu clan. Your Highness. Do you now remember something? So Esimon knows everything about this, yet he kept all to himself, allowing the curse of the gods to destroy my household. Igwe, what, what is it? Igwe, what is happening?
Have you confirmed it? Yes. I'm pregnant. What are we going to do about it? Who knows about this? I mean, apart from the both of us, who else knows about it? My father. Your what? How? Why would you allow your father know about it? Because my father is the closest person to me since my mother died. All right. Listen to me. Don't allow any other ear to hear about this. I don't want it. Go home, tell your father I'll come later in the day and talk to him. Let's discuss about it. Okay. We'll be waiting. Okay. And remember, remember what I said. Don't allow any other person to know about this pregnancy. Nobody will know about it. You sure? Hey! Ichebe. I'm sorry I cannot marry your daughter. Because I'm already betrothed to another woman. So my father must not know about this. Ichebe, you know that. You know it's not in my power to, to, to make choice on my own. If I had the power to make choice, you know definitely I would marry your daughter. But there's nothing I can do. So my father must not hear about the relationship between me and your daughter or that she's pregnant for me. So that's why I'm here. Let's talk, let's reason and know what to do about this. So my prince, what exactly do you want me to do? I want you to terminate the pregnancy. She must not give birth to that child. But my prince, what you're asking me to do is an abomination in this land. And it will be more than an abomination if my father gets to know about it. I'm sorry, my prince. I, I, I can't do what you ask of me. <laughs> Mazibe, you don't seem to understand what I'm talking about. I am not here to bargain with you. What I asked you to do is an order. And you must do what I asked you to do, else you have me to contend with. The news about your daughter's pregnancy must not filter into anyone's hearing. Because if it does, I will not just deny the pregnancy, but I will make sure I eliminate you and your household out of this land. Demi Chebe. You want to terminate the pregnancy because of the threat of the young prince. What can I do, wise one? I do not want trouble. You do not want trouble, but you already want to fall into trouble. Killing an unborn child is an abomination in our land. The gods forbid it. I know, wise one. That is why I have come, so that you will tell me exactly what I should do. My daughter, stop crying. You will not kill the seed growing in your womb. He must live. But, wise one, the prince threatened my life and that of my family. <laughs> He's threatening his future. 
the whole of his future shall be threatened in the same way he's threatening you. So that was what happened. The man had to take his daughter away from the land to the mother's land. And while there, the daughter gave birth to the child. But the daughter took ill and died after giving birth to the child. The father brought the child to me secretly before he died. And I handed him over to late Zeibe and his barren wife Adako. And I warned them to keep the secret from the child. But there's more. I later visited the Chiebe to inquire of the girl and the pregnancy. And he told me he took the girl back to her mother's place. And that the girl died in the course of trying to remove the child from her womb. <laughs> A lie well deserved. Your Highness, the woman was stubborn and she refused to come with us. Christy, it has happened. Oh my God, what you people wanted has happened. Who knows what Igwe has said to him? Who knows? I hate you for this. It has happened. Is there anything I need to know? <laughs> Nana has taken a lot of time in the palace. And you refuse to answer to Igwe someone to the palace. such secret away from me. You kept me in the dark for so long. I was humiliated. I was treated like an outcast. Can somebody tell me what is happening? I'm sorry. It is not my will to keep the truth away from you. It is the same thoughts that kept you from asking questions. That kept me from speaking the truth, son. From telling you the truth, son. I... I hate you. I hate you. Mother, I hate you. How could you?
my people, I am really very sorry. I'm sorry. I was young and naive. I could not make right decisions for myself. The gods have punished me for my sin. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Son, you have to forgive him. He wouldn't have found you if the gods have not forgiven him. Forgive him. He is truly your father. Yes. The gods are wise. Their purpose cannot be thwarted, even though mortars may try. Your death has brought pain upon my soul. You are a rare gem. You loved and accepted me. Calls me the son of no man. You encouraged me. You made me believe in myself. Without knowing you are my blood. I wish. I wish. I wish. Death never succeeded in taking you away. My blood, I promise to love and respect you for the rest of my life.